How is it going everybody? It is me Ryan here and today I'm going to be bringing you some brand new NHL 15 information and to be honest this isn't brand new. I've actually had this sitting in my like Google Drive for a couple days and I was like wait no one else posted this. I'm going to post this. So uh, Sean Ramjag Singh the producer of the NHL series was actually on a radio talk show. He's been on a couple of these and uh, they were going over some new stuff about NHL 15 what's going to be new about it and uh, obviously there's the generic stuff about like players and stuff just all the regular stuff and um i took a couple notes from it i didn't even get there for the first 15 minutes i was asleep and i woke up and i'm like oh damn i'm gonna hop on this and then uh i did obviously so uh yeah here's some information that i got so they've been talking about a lot about the revamp physics and stuff like that and uh, how they have more power than ever on the new generation of consoles. And that's one thing he was really pushing. He's like, there's no limits now. Well, obviously there's limits, but there's, like, he basically, there's no limits now to what they can do and put in their game. And it's going to be so realistic. So uh, one of the things they wanted to do um, to enhance the realism, I guess, is uh, they actually, like, all new physics, basically. So... Uh, they actually brought someone who worked on the Hadron Collider in Switzerland. If you guys don't know what the Hadron Collider is, please don't ask me. Uh, I just know it's super science-y and high-tech, like super high-tech, and I think they work with like dark matter and stuff. If you want to look more into it, definitely just Google has the answer. But um, yeah, it shouldn't be uh, too hard to find, but it's, it's super complicated. So this guy obviously knows what he's doing, and he's going to be working on the physics for NHL 15, so that's really cool. Um, and stuff should react a lot more realistically now. So that's cool. And um, what that's going to do is, so player models are layered and pucks bounce off equipment underneath. So uh, as of now, like you could take a shot off a player and maybe he'd do that limp thing, but and just like drop or whatever. But um, now the player models are layered. And I believe he said the, like, the actual base of the player looks like the Michelin man, the tire guy. Um, but then... You go over it, and the, each layer of equipment has its own, like, it's actually formed there. So, if something hits it, it'll bounce off as it should. So, that's really cool, because, like, now each thing is individual. And I'm sure we'll see some, like, glitches with it, like, stuff flying off, probably, or whatever. But, uh, it's really, it's a really cool concept. Hopefully, it works out fine. Uh, some other stuff, there's 35,000 lines of speech for announcers. 35,000 lines of speech, that's a lot of lines of speech, not gonna lie, like, I that would take a while, and I think he said they're still gonna be adding speech throughout the game, and that's one of the real cool things, like, people get bored of the speech, I usually, I, I think all this year I played with volume off, I'm not even sure I tried it with volume on, but, um, now with the new announcers, 35,000 lines of speech, plus they can add more throughout the game, so that's really cool, uh, on top of that, uh, the crowd, uh, the crowd's a huge thing they've been pushing a lot lately. There's 9,000 individual crowd models in each crowd, so, uh, what that means is, like, if you look in the crowd for NHL 14, sorry, you'll probably see a bunch of similar, similar faces, and they're not really doing anything. See the first row, they're, like, you see a couple people doing the exact same thing, just shaking their head or whatever. These are 9,000 individual ones, so they're all gonna be different and unique, so, uh, he, he was going over a couple of, um, you're gonna have the uninterested hockey fan in the front row, like a guy's girlfriend just taking selfies or whatever. Then there's gonna be the hardcore fans with the towel. There's gonna be that away fan who's getting everyone like fired up against him and stuff like that. And everyone's gonna be looking at him, getting angry and stuff. So that's really cool. And uh, that's that's about it. Uh, the rest of the stuff was basically previous knowledge. And uh, they said it's gonna take about three to four weeks to get some hot info in there. So look forward to that. That's all for now, boys. If you enjoyed, please leave a like down below. That would help a ton. That's it. We'll see you next time.